We are at the Lego store and it's May the 4th, so we're probably going to get some great promos and a couple of Star Wars sets to go along with it. Hello everybody and welcome to The Brick Show, I'm Aiden and by the way, May the 4th be with you because today's video is the May the 4th special. So May the 4th is a Star Wars national holiday, well not really national, but it is a holiday for us Star Wars fans and Lego is celebrating May the 4th with us. So we're going to take a trip to the Lego store and um, see their promotions and um, what they offer and buy a couple things. So let's head on over to the Lego store. We're climbing up the escalator to go to the Lego store. It's right over there and I'll show you the displays in a minute. So it's about 9.30. The Lego store opens at 11 so we definitely got here early enough um, to for May the 4th weekend. So here is the NASA Space um, Shuttle Discovery. It looks really great with this mosaic. They must be different at all the stores because Brixie, when he went um, recently, it was a different one. So it's great that they're not using the same one. Let's try to get a different, better angle of it. It looks great, but it's not Star Wars, so I won't be getting those free promos. Here we have the Imperial Probe Droid. That looks pretty good, but nah, not what I want. Darth Vader, kind of hard to see the lighting that's going on, but it's there. And the Scout Troop, that's one I think I'll be picking up today. Because I do love it. Looks so clean. We also have the TIE Fighter Pilot, Stormtrooper, and Boba Fett. The Razor Crest, and then UCS R2-D2. And also a free gift. They have the free gifts, the Imperial Shuttle. Very excited to get that one. I really wanted that poly bag, but I couldn't find it. And then the Tatooine Homestead free gift as well. So that's it at the Lego store. Well, we're going to wait to get inside for a couple hours, and then we'll see what we get. So it was super busy in the Lego store, so I didn't film a whole lot but they were very, very well stocked, except when you got into the Star Wars department and then they started to run out of UCS R2-D2s and I didn't want to stay in there for super long so other people had a chance to get in. I was the first in line, so I definitely checked out pretty quickly and um, had the ability to leave pretty quickly, so I did, and so that's why I left pretty early, but I did film that. So I've had to clear my table for the haul and hopefully you'll be able to catch it. But the first thing we got is the Scout Trooper helmet. Yep, camera is pushing it all. We also have the TIE Fighter as well. And then we got these little three, we got a sticker sheet and some little thing. I'll review this in a minute. We also got three promos, and they also got this little poly bag just because I wanted it, so that's a little free. Not free, but cheap enough for me to get it. And then they, we got our promos. We got the Tatooine Homestead promo. Looks a lot better now than it did before. Got this Dots picture frame, and also this Imperial Shuttle poly bag. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing this and the Imperial Shuttle poly bag, and yeah, I think I did pretty well with this haul. I spent about $100 to get all this, and I think it was well worth it. This May the 4th was a great, um, great time of the year for Star Wars Lego fans like us. The line at the Lego store was tremendously long. It went pretty far, probably about, I want to say about a hundred people were there. I was first in line, by the way, so I was lucky enough to be number one, which was great. 
And that's pretty much it for the haul part. Now let's move on to the review part, which is coming up right now. So unboxing this should be pretty simple. There's luckily tape and it's not thumb tabs. I don't like thumb tabs. They're pretty terrible. Ugh. I guess it's not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. But you do gotta get in there. It's very packed. It's the box is very packed and you just open this up. Nothing special inside the box. You got your parts. Three bags, four bags of parts. And your tiny little instruction manual. I really love the box. It's a nice little box. You can probably display it in there. Probably what it's meant for. And I'm going to go ahead and build this up. As well as the Imperial Shuttle Poly bag. Give you my thoughts on it. And then that'll be it. So, here is the Tatooine Homestead build. This build was uh, about a 20 minute build, so it wasn't super long, with 217 pieces, recommended for ages 8 plus, but that doesn't really matter anymore with LEGO. 18 plus sets can be built by 3 year olds, no, no, 6 year olds probably. Tatooine Homestead 40451. The box is great. You could do get a bunch of extra pieces in this set as well. It's kind of hard. I don't want them all spilling out, but you do get some good extra pieces. So that's also great to get. The build itself is pretty nice. You have plenty of features in the build. So we have all these little studs over here. This is probably a Jawa. That's probably Luke Skywalker. 3PO. Another uh, Jawa. And then behind here is an was R2D2. Back here. And then that's probably Owen. And that other one, the Sandcrawler. It's a pretty nice build. You get printed tiles. Which is something very nice that you don't commonly see in LEGO. Especially for free promos. Camera doesn't really want to focus though. And that looks great. The Star Wars printed tile is also really nice. 2021. And then there's also a bunch of detail in here. It has, uh, I think that's Baru in there. And then a, probably a evaporator or something. The homestead. And we were lucky enough, very, very, very lucky. I consider ourselves very lucky. We got another Luke's Land Speeder. So this is the first one of 2021, and I'm I'm very happy with it. It's such a great design. It really fits Luke's Land Speeder very well. And then you also have the mountains in the back, kind of the hills, mountains. That looks very nice. And that's probably the most, the hardest part of the build is trying to get all those slope elements right and according to the instructions but overall it was a pretty easy build and definitely one that most people could handle and so let's move on to the imperial shuttle poly bag yeah it's pretty small but here is the imperial shuttle poly bag that you get with purchases of over forty dollars it looks great i mean the design is pretty good i haven't i've never seen it before um at the store, so I've never seen the poly bag, so I was very happy to get it. The wings fold out, and you can make it look like a imperial shuttle. One simple mod you could do is just make this one stud instead of two studs um, wide, and then that would make it look more like an imperial shuttle. But the back thrusters is really nice. I really love it. It looks great. It looks best like this. Doesn't look the greatest, um, any, like anything else, but that does look great, and it is a rather nice free promo that you get. But this one is probably the better one. I'm not going to do a review of the Dots Poly bag just because it's not Star Wars and not really May the 4th. And then I'm also just going to show you the haul one last time. Tell you to remember to like, subscribe, share with your friends, and comment down below. And we will see you next time on the Brick Show.
and stay tuned for the reviews of my TIE Fighter and the Scout Trooper helmet coming up in the very near future. Bye for now.